Hello and welcome to this ad hoc recording of my current workflow, um, which I'm essentially recording this video because I'm really bored of working like this uh, and it's just something to make it more interesting for myself. So what am I working on? I'm working on a comic which is currently called Between Teeth. Um, it is intended to go into uh, Strip For Me, Douglas Noble's series of pocket chillers. He asked me if I was interested in trying one last year, maybe the year before, um, and I just never got around to it. I've had the idea now for about a year of what story I want to tell, um, and so I thought that I would actively try to do it. So the first thing I did was to um, take some printouts that I had years ago, um, of um, a comic I did called Bones of the Sea um, and I tried to print it out, all went wrong same as usual, put some staples in it and then I drew over the top of it the idea being that I would fill it all in as black as possible um, you can see here I'm indicating these were blank pages so I've gone over them and drawn um, I've scanned all that in, that took ages it probably, it probably only took 10-15 minutes but it was boring so it felt like it took a long lot longer and now what I'm doing is the intention is to print these pages out at A4 uh, and work over them again in white and black ink can turn them into like new comics still with the same old DNA but different um, so I've loaded them all into Affinity I'm currently using the Comic Printing UK A4 template or a version of it um, if I click that you will can see that the the bleed and the trim are coloured in. Um, on Rich's original templates, the the bleed is in black, but it's really difficult to work with like that. So I always just fill it with pink to make it easy to work with. And so what I'm doing to prepare these these pages is I've done that one good, and I'm working left to right across the top. So otherwise I'll get lost. I am rotating them. I am selecting them. I'm copying them. I'm pasting them as a layer in here. And then I'm resizing them so that they're just within the trim. Uh, uh, and I'm being like almost um, abusive with them. I'm stretching them out away from what they currently were. And since I'm going to draw over them anyway, um, it's just stretching that DNA out a bit. So I'm clicking that and then I'm going to File, Export, and I'm exporting that to this folder of Between Teeth Phase. Um, and I'm building up a little file of these. And once I've done them all, I'll print them all out and then I'll have them as a little stack to pick up and work on as I want over the next few weeks. It might take months to get through this. Because um, working at A4 obviously takes a lot longer than working at A5, which is what I was working at before. Um, right, that's it. Hopefully that's somehow interesting. Um, it probably isn't. But um, at least making a video is slightly more exciting for me. Also, I'm, I've, I'm paying for a subscription on Screencast-O-Matic, uh, <laughs> so um, I may as well use it. Um, yeah. Uh, any comments please let me know um, if anybody knows of an easier way to that you know what there's definitely ways to make this easy for myself if anybody is familiar enough with affinity to give me a shout please do or it'll be too late by then I'll have either gone insane and buried myself in the garden or I've already printed them out cheers bye